another video um, this video is going to be similar to the previous one though not the same um, it's all um, making multiple outfits out of one pattern so uh, a wrap pattern so this is the previous one was the trouser slash jumpsuit if you've not seen it go and see that video this is going to be making um, a skirt or a dress from just one pattern all right so if you like the video at the end of the video if you watch it and you like it make sure to give the video a thumbs up that really really helps me if you're new here and you're not subscribed yet and you've watched a few of my videos and you like it please be sure to subscribe so let's get started the first measurement and um, one of two measurements you are going to need for the entire piece is your hip measurement. That's the only measurement you are going to use besides the length of the skirt. So um, you take your hip measurement and you add 10 inches to that number. So the hip I'm working with is a hip of 42 inches. 42 inches plus 10 inches is going to give us 52 inches okay 42 plus 10 52 all right so be sure to keep that number now let me get my fabric all right so now this is the fabric i'm working with it's it has some just a little shine like silk but it's it's cotton i think it's cotton mixed with some with some polyester because the weave is woven like cotton it doesn't feel hot like polyester but it has a little shine and vibrance on it so i got four yards of this fabric and now it's time for us to make a fold. Four yards is what you should get. Um, as long as you're not an extra, extra small. Um, yeah. Or if you are an extra, extra large, you might need to get as much as six. Alright. So now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold the four yards into half. Alright. Because we're going to fold this, but we're not going to fold it like we usually fold where we just simply fold everything on a straight fold. We're going to fold this on a bias. So we're going to bend it. And form a triangle but first thing I want you to do is to simply fold it in half and lay it on your table all right all right and after you have done this the next thing I want you to do is I want you to pick up one of the ends so this is the fold, this is the edge that you can see here. Now this is four yards, so if you fold four yards in half, you have two yards on each side of the fold. So I'm going to simply pick up one end. So you can see this one side of the fold, just simply pick up one end where you have you know the both sides of the um, fold showing, and then I want you to simply collapse it like I'm doing. So you see, we're making some sort of triangle as the top, alright? So I want you to fold it like so. And arrange it on your table okay all right so after we have folded it like that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need that 52 inches so remember the 52 inches that's your hip plus 10 um, you're going to need it you want to divide that number into four because at the end of the day we folded into four places First we folded like this and then we folded it's like this um, triangle that we have now. Um, so I'm going to take that number and go divide it by 4. 54 divided by 4 should give us 13. Right? We can cross check. Alright, yes, 13. So what you're going to do, you're going to simply look for the part of your fabric that will give you 13. Okay? So you start from the top, from the very top here, and you start coming down. And once you hit a space that can give you 13 you stop and you're going to make a line here all right so that's the first part that's the top part the waist part and now i'm going to cut around there And then the next thing I'm going to mark is the skirt length. Now you know this can be made as a dress, but the most important length you want is the length when it is a skirt. Now my wife wants it to pour on the floor, so we came with a length of 45 inches. That should also be okay when this is being worn as a dress. It won't you know, be too high to still have the whole um, long dress vibe. So 45 inches starting from the waist. I'm going to throw away um, 1.5 inches for my band because that's the amount we're going to use for when we are adding back the band. So I'm going to throw away 1.5 inches at the top, all right? So 
throw away 1.5 and then make a mark at 45. I don't know if you can see down here. Alright, let me turn that. Alright, so I'm going to make a mark at 45. And then I'm going to move the tape at the waist. Alright. I'm going to come back here, move the tape further down the line. And at the bottom, I'm going to still make a mark at 45. Let me see if you can see that. I think you can. At 45 here as well. Alright, and then I'm going to keep moving down all the way. So it's still the same thing. Adjust the top, adjust the bottom. 45, I'm going to move it down, move it on until I get to all the parts that we have here as well. When I'm done with that, I'm going to cut. Alright, so after we've cut it, this is the this is the whole thing, right? You can see how full the end is. The top is straight. Now, what we're going to do is this. We already know that the top part, that's the waist part here, is 52 from end to the other end. Alright, we already know that that's 52, maybe with a little excess here, but it won't be so much. But anyhow, we know that from here to here is 52. And because we will need extra ropes to tie here and there, what we're going to do is we're going to add 30 inches to 52 on each side. So we know that the thing is supposed to come around the waist and then you're supposed to have, you know, space for rope for tying and, and all of that. So for every rope, because there'll be two, one coming from one end and one coming, you need two ropes. You need one side of the rope to be over here so that you can hold it and tie it over here. And this other side, you still need a rope to be able to tie it over here as well. So that means we need 30 inches on the left, 30 inches on the right. So 30 plus 30 is equal to 60. 60 plus 52, that's from the top part of the waist. Okay, 52. Uh, 50 plus um, 60 is 110 plus 2, so that is 112. So you're going to need to cut a long piece of fabric at 112 by 5 inches all right so i'm going to cut it but you see me on the sewing machine we'll cut a long piece of fabric that is 112 inches long and it's just five inches um wide uh i will see you on the sewing machine you, you, you will see what i've cut and i'll show you how we join this all right in case there's a new noise that's my generator power holding company has withheld power um so uh I've cut the rope, but before we attach it, I want you to take the skirt, so the waist part of it, and then fold it in half and make a notch so that you know where the middle is. Alright, and then I'm going to lay that down. This, what you can see here, is the joining. So in order to get a uh, 112, I had to join two pieces of long fabric together, but in truth, this should be longer than 112 because each of them is 60 inches. Alright, so that's like um, about uh, roughly 120. My fabric was by 60, so I just marked 5 and then cut it down. So I have at least 120 in length instead of 112, but you should have at least 60 inches on both sides. I hope you get the gist. So, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this joining, which is the middle, and align it with this notch that we made here. Alright? And then, I'm going to look for the beginning. Alright, now that I've found it, I'm going to stitch from here all the way across to the other side of the waist. Alright? Half an inch is what I'm holding. Now, one more thing, before I start stitching, if you notice, I have not hemmed the edge that I have over here. If you don't have like a finished edge, like I do on uh, both sides, if you don't have a finished edge on edge on both sides, please make sure to hem this part here before you attach the band, okay? But I want to have this edge here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. But if you want to finish it off, you can finish it off before this step, alright?
Alright, so after we have joined the band to the waist, the next thing I want to do, we did this in the last video, I want to come to the hem, okay, that I have, that you would have, over here, and then I want you to fold half an inch at both ends, and then make a stitch from top to bottom so you can secure it with this fold, alright? All right, so after stitching across here, you can see that I went ahead to simply iron the fold all the way down. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to simply flip this here to the correct side, and then we're going to stitch from here all the way down to the end. Alright, so you see, according to the thumbnail, or to the title, I think, I know that one of those will say that this is easy. But yeah, this is literally easy. You are basically done. Um, next thing is just how to tie it. I think I will drop a link to um, a, a, a video on Pinterest showing you the different ways you can style this um, in the description. But the last thing, for now, uh, the last thing is just to hem the bottom of the skirt of the dress. I'm going to fold half inch twice and once I do that I am done. If you've watched this far, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Do have a lovely day. Bye bye.